Hello everybody on YouTube, Oniac here. I'm gonna make a quick little video on a couple new things I got. Tackle equipment I got from Bass Pro Shop and also I got this stuff from Walmart. Um, the first item I got was some chompers for lunkers, lures for lunkers. Um, there are eight, there's eight worms in there. They're water, water, watermelon red. I'm sorry about that. Four inchers. Drop shot worms. Check them out. Pretty cool. I got these at Bass Pro Shop. I also got this at Bass Pro. It is a Strike King Bitsy Lure Kit. Um, got it for a dollar. Couldn't go wrong with that. I just wanted to try it out. It looks pretty cool. Has some like little jig heads at the top and a bunch of little like uh, tubes at the bottom. You know, I wanted to try that out for some crappie and some uh, bluegill and maybe some baby bass. You know, stuff like that. But I wanted to try it out, so I got it. Also got two um, jigs. These are one half ounce each, and one of them is in black color, and the other one is in a brown color. I'm gonna put some net bait, pack of chunks on these uh, lures, and see how they roll. Some trailers, you know, see how they work out. They're really cheap, so I picked them up. Don't really fish jigs, but yeah. I got those. And I got these right here. Kevin Van Dam 1.0 crankbaits. I got five of these. I don't know. I know I only have two three right here. But one of them is in my tackle box and the other one is on my rod. Now the reason why I'm showing you guys these right now is because I purchased these at Walmart. Five of them. And they were one dollar each. So I had to take all of them. See? So I got the Black back chartreuse. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have another one of these. I got two of these, and I have this one and one of on my rod. And I got some sexy shad ones. These are two sexy shads. I have three sexy shads, but one of them is in, in my tackle box. One dollar for for each one. Can't go wrong. These lures go usually for like five bucks, something like that. You know, can't go wrong with that. Pretty good deal. I might you know sell these on ebay or something you know I don't really need that many <laughs> I'm cool with just two and I also got this uh, Gamagatsu drop shot hooks in two odd there's six of them in there look at that see that was also on sale at Walmart one dollar I got two of these bags I have one in my tackle box and the other one is uh, right here I might sell this one as well like on ebay or something I don't really need that many hooks I also have some Berkeley Havoc uh, juice worms. They're Boyd Ducket design. Okay, I got these in Junebug, six inches. Oh, this is the first time I'm opening this bag. Wow, those look really nice. I never really tried like a curl tail worm, so I wanted to try some out. And um, I heard that Berkeley has some good uh, ribbon tails. So, I got the Berkeley Havoc ones. And now these are in a June Book color. So, I got these for like nighttime, which I rarely fish nighttime, but you know, never know when the occasion might happen. And I also got these for murky water, which I fish a lot of murky water, a lot of it. So, I got, so I got these. And I am going to put these to good use. Texas rig these bad boys, see how they work, see what they get me. So I got those Berkeley Havocs and the June Bug. Ooh, Berkeley Havoc stuff looks real good. And I also got another bag of green pumpkin uh, six inches again, same thing, just different color. Green pumpkin. Damn, look at that. That's nice. Now I don't really fish like uh, big big worms like an 8 inch or uh, 12 inch but like I said I don't really fish worms plastic worms in general so I wanted to tr if I wanted to start trying out like ribbon tails and, and whatnot I wanted to try uh, you know smaller worms like a 6 inch instead of 8 or 10 inch worms which is a little too big but yeah pretty cool I like Berkeley Havoc stuff plastic is I don't know it's different it's, it's really cool well, check that out pretty nice worms 
So yeah guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my video that concludes all the stuff I got this time around. I'm going to be placing a new order on a website uh, of new fishing equipment and um, I'll be making an unboxing of that, that stuff when it comes in the mail. And um, yeah, and for those questions, that I, I've got a couple questions about people saying that if I'm going to make any fishing videos of me actually fishing and catching fish. The question, the answer to that actually is yes, I am. Um, now, the people I go fishing with usually is my brothers or a couple of my friends. Uh, they usually don't have a camera. We don't really have a camera. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and we're usually just caught up in fishing and just, you know. But the main point is we don't have a camera. The only person that does have a camera is my girlfriend, and she doesn't really like going fishing with me. And when she does, she likes to photograph like other stuff, like the landscape and stuff like that. And um, I, I don't know. I haven't really gotten to the point where I'd ask her to video tape my fishing. So next time we go, I will ask her, and um, hopefully she'll uh, want to videotape me, even though she thinks fishing is really boring. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'll try to get some fishing videos up as soon as I possibly can. Um, Thank you very much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a good day. Peace out.